Yo, what is going on guys, Nobi here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video, and today we're going to be talking about my first impressions of the Black Ops 3 beta. Uh, I got it last night, which was pretty awesome, and I've enjoyed it. I really, I, I grinded the crap out of it last night, and it was a ton of fun, a ton of, ton of, ton of, ton of, ton of fun. I'm going to give you guys all of my, you know, in-depth little, you know, just thoughts and just my impressions of this game from what I interpreted last night. The gameplay in the background is not the best gameplay, it's not really that good, it was sufficient, and it was all that I could really put together because getting game plates on this game is really hard. It is a very challenging game. It's it's different. I, the way that I would explain it is that it's really different. I don't think that it feels too much like one cut or another. Uh, people keep saying that it feels like Advanced Warfare. I don't think it feels like Advanced Warfare at all. Uh, the double jump system feels like a completely new thing and it's not even a double jump it's just a thrust it's it, i don't even know how to explain it's really just different you'd have to experience it for yourselves uh to actually you know like determine even if it feels like a different cod because personally i don't think it feels like anything um there's times where it'll feel like black ops 2 uh, i think the fast pace of the game is a little more like black ops 2 than any other cod but at the same time like the feel of the game is completely new which is actually really good and i'm actually happy that it does feel like a completely new call of duty and it doesn't like really remind you of any other call of duties because that is what you want when you want a new game we were getting tired of the same 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 old same old crap that was going on with black ops 2 you know we kept seeing Mario for three we kept seeing just mainly black ops 2 we just keep seeing all these old cods and we really want something new because a lot of people did not like ghosts and a lot of people did not like advanced warfare and i honestly i know that this game is going to be really good because Everybody's enjoying it right now. It's definitely difficult, but that is because everybody's got to get used to it, especially the sniping, which I'll get onto here in a bit. But, uh, you know, personally, I feel that if people just kind of stick with it and, you know, really take in the fact that this is a beta, this game is not anywhere near being done. And uh, the multiplayer is running really smoothly. It's running really good. And if, I, I mean, I feel it would be a good game if they were to launch the COD game tomorrow. Honestly, it would be really good enough. And, uh,. I don't know, that's just me, I'm really enjoying it, I had a lot of fun, it is a difficult game as I've said several times, but that's just, you know, what you're gonna get when you are experiencing it for the first time, and then there's a lot of people playing it and whatnot, there's a lot of new people being introduced to the PS4 because they're moving over from Xbox and whatnot, and it's really, it's really different, it's been an interesting experience to, um, you know, really experience this beta, uh, the first time since World at War that there's been a beta, and it's been really, really fun. But the fact that this game is already this good and it comes out officially in November just shows to me that this game is going to be near perfection. Like, it's going to be what we want. It's going to be what we've been waiting for these past couple years. Personally, I was a big Ghost and Advanced Warfare fan, but I know a lot of people that weren't necessarily big fans on it. So I can definitely, you know, understand, you know, when people are hoping that Black Ops 3 does indeed quote-unquote save Call of Duty because I thought that Call of Duty's always been good. I'm just a guy that just loves COD. I'll play any COD, honestly, and that's just me. I really don't know, but a lot of people are really hoping that this does go well, and I think that they've done a great job on Black Ops 3. It doesn't really feel like any other COD, as I've said. It feels new in itself. It has a lot of new, amazing features, especially this wall this wall run. I'm pretty sure you guys will see me do the wall run a couple times in this gameplay, and it's so much fun. It adds a whole new aspect, a whole new element to this Call of Duty game, and it's amazing. Like, it, it's not overpowered at all, It's it, you can't really do much with it, I mean, it just gives you a little more of an advantage when you're, you know, you have a vantage point, but it also leaves you a little vulnerable, so it's not anything that's going to affect the gameplay at all, it's really cool, because you can basically run on walls anywhere on the map, and it's it's really enjoyable, I, I really sincerely enjoy, you know, wall running on the walls of this game. So now I'm going to talk about the sniping a little bit, and a lot of you guys have been seeing me tweet out, you know, those of you that follow me on Twitter, by the way, follow me at Colt Nova, because I'll be tweeting out when I stream and whatnot, which I did stream last night, I streamed for like four or five hours, and it was a lot of fun. I might make a stream highlights video here in the next couple days, um, but I'm going to be streaming almost every single day that Black Ops 3 beta is out, so be on the lookout for that, go follow me at Colt Nova, Twitter link is down in the description of this video, but the sniping personally, I'm not really too big of a fan of it. And I know they're going to fix this because this is an issue, and I, I have seen a lot of people complaining about this. Uh, the ADS in this game, so in any other Call of Duty game, the ADS, it's just, you know, one motion. It's, it's, it's kind of, um, I guess, universal. But in this game, it's more custom, and it's more 
individualized because the ADS depends on the sensitivity that it, you have actually is what it looks like and the sensitivity of the ADS depends on what sensitivity you're running so if you're going to be running an 8 sensitivity when you're moving your scope back and forth it's going to be an 8 sensitivity when you're moving the scope which I really find a little frustrating because it does move really fast and I feel that I'm not as accurate with my sniper rifles as I can be I, I constantly find myself over aiming or you know under aiming and it's really it's really frustrated me and I know they're gonna fix that I'm just hoping they fix that actually uh, but I'm pretty sure that they will because a lot of people have been complaining about that and that's really my only issue with sniping I feel that if they fix that sniping will be amazing because it is really fun in this game it's all it's a ton of fun actually like when you get a couple kills and stuff it's it's just it's really really rewarding it's it's definitely challenging at the moment just because of the whole ADS you know kind of I guess I wouldn't necessarily call it a failure but it's it's kind of a um, a little glitchy or whatnot it's it's really weird how it works but it definitely takes a lot of getting used to uh sniping just feels completely different in this game the only other thing that i'm really not too fond of and this is so minor but it affects me a lot uh, just because i don't know i don't know why it affects me a lot but it's actually the gun sound of the sniper rifles i don't know i'm not a big fan of it it's more of a pop noise it doesn't really have that same you know kind of sound as the other cods would or an actual sniper rifle would it just kind of feels like a pop and I don't really know if I like that. I don't I don't really know. It just reminds me too much of an assault rifle. And that really does kind of suck. But I'm liking this game a lot. I hope a lot of you guys are enjoying playing it. And if you guys aren't, I'm going to be posting, you know, daily Black Ops 3 videos for the next five days. And even after that, I'm going to be, you know, getting and saving up a bunch of gameplays for the future to, you know, have in some future videos when the Black Ops 3 beta is not out. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys are looking forward to the rest of my Black Ops 3 videos that are going to be coming out here in the next couple days. I'm going to probably try and double upload occasionally because I want to try and put out little, like, mini tages or montages on here. And uh, we'll see what happens. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys had a great rest of the day. Be sure to leave a like and comment. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, guys, I've been Zach Orno, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.